Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel. Today's March 3rd and it's a pretty nice day out here in Northern California, so uh, I think we'll go outside and cook some pork shoulder country style ribs on the grill. So I picked up a nice package of pork shoulder country style ribs. What that really is is just a pork shoulder roast that's just cut into strips. There's about four and a half pounds of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, season them with some barbecue rub. Now this one here, the first ingredient is salt. And sometimes pork can be a little salty on its own. So this one here, the last ingredient is salt. And the other ingredients are paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, mustard powder, cayenne pepper, thyme, cumin, brown sugar, and salt. So the sugar and salt are at the end and all the good stuff is in there. So I'm going to use this uh, Sonoma Spice Queen rub. I bought this at the local farmer's market, but I think she has a website online if anybody's interested. So, uh, and then once they're done, I'm going to put some of this you know you want it barbecue sauce on there. I've tried this on some oysters, but haven't tried it on any meat yet, so I'm going to use that. So, uh, let me get those seasoned, and then I'll meet you outside at the grill. Okay, I got this pork all seasoned up, and the coals are looking good. And, uh... I'm going to start these uh, off cooking indirectly. I put the coals on the back side of the grill. It works good on this little grill because it's so small that uh, I cook indirectly with it most of the time. And then when the meat's cooking, you can kind of move it around and, uh, you know, shuffle them around a bit so they cook more evenly. But uh, get these on there like this. Then I'm just going to put the lid on for a little bit and uh, come back and check them in a little bit. All right, it's been a few minutes, so I opened the lid up. I'm just kind of moving these around a little bit. And, you know, I know some people say sear it first, some people say sear it last. I just kind of move it around until it looks about right. I mean, until it has a little color on it. I'm not too uh, <laughs> particular about the way I do things. I really like this little Weber Jumbo Joe. I've cooked some pretty good stuff on it. I mean, for 60 bucks, this grill's tough to beat. And it's like 65 degrees out here. And I'm like, uh, out here grilling in a t-shirt. <laughs> I feel bad for all these guys in the other states. They're in their videos, it's all snow, all this snow in their backyard. <laughs> okay, let's check this. I'm shooting for about 145 degrees. 155 on that one. 143. 141 on that one. And we're almost there. Let them cook for a couple more minutes. Been on there about a half hour. Then we'll put some barbecue sauce on them. Some you know you want it barbecue sauce. And does this smell good? Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's go get some barbecue sauce now. Sure smells good. Put some of that you know you want it barbecue sauce in a bowl here. Of course you could use any barbecue sauce you like. I'm not selling anything, so, but I'm excited to try this sauce because I haven't tried it on any meat yet, so I think it's going to be really good. Okay, finally it's time for the taste test. I was trying to figure out the best way to do this, and uh, you know the best way to do this is with a beer in one hand and just grab a piece of meat with the other hand. Man, that's good. That's really, really good. Gotta tell you guys, that sauce is really good on this. All right, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.